guys. So, we have our harvested, you guys saw me harvest, and then start the freeze drying process of the things that I harvested, which were the squash, as well as the cabbage. What else did I put in here? Old oh, parsnips. So the freeze dryer is now complete. So it says freeze drying is complete and I turned it on warm tray. Um, so now I'm just going to exit. And I'm going to let out all of these. And so this actually finished. Um, I want to say, was it earlier this morning? I don't remember if it was early this morning or late last night. Let me. So this is the parsnips. I think, yeah, this is the parsnips. This finished earlier this morning, but we were dealing with, or even yesterday, but we were dealing with goat things. So I haven't gotten a chance to put it in anything. So now that I have some time, I am going to deal with this as well as I'm going to check on the herbs that we put inside of this dehydrator. I turned it, it turned off and then I turned it back on and it's turned off again. So I'm going to check on the herbs to see if they are dry. So the first time it finished, they were still damp. For now, yeah, they're dry. At first I started ripping them, but then after a while, I just started putting the whole leaves in there. So I'm gonna need to, okay, that's good. So that's dry. If I'm not mistaken, Dehydration takes about takes out about 98% of um what's this called? It takes out about 98% of liquid where a freeze dryer takes out about 99.9%. Let me find a container. Add this bacon soda container and this um, bread flour. I don't have bread flour at the moment, so I think I'm gonna just empty out the remnants of flour in here and use it. If you missed my last video where I told you about the dehydrator, I do have a code and I'll leave a link. Um, in the description box, I think you get 10% off by using Faith 2023, if I'm not mistaken. So this parsnips, the reason why I chose to freeze dry it, as well as the squash, is because last year I freeze dry a lot of my kakuzi squash, and then later on I was able to make muffins, and that worked out really, really good for me. Thank you, Diane. And with parsnips, I can make, you can use them as carrots and make like <laughs> carrot muffins, but with parsnips, and I really, really like them. That's actually the only thing that I've used parsnips for. Someone said, I was reading the comments and someone said that they, you can use it in like with potatoes, and I thought that was really, really good. So if I ever grow more parsnips, which I'm sure I will, some but this can be rehydrated and made into muffins if I choose to and then I did the same thing for this is the squash 
And this is the cabbage that I thought would be fine to throw in salads. And I also freeze dried the garlic scapes that I'm pretty sure I'm going to um, put the garlic scapes like grind them into a powder. This is the onion top powder that last year I harvested lots of onion tops and I made it into an onion powder. This is my spicy pepper powder. Um, I dehydrated all of my spicy peppers last year and made them and then grinded them and then I used this um, as a spicy pepper. Okay, awesome. So I got the comfrey, the cabbage, parsnips, and I got the squash. So that is nice. I'm going to now, I'm going to put them on my shelf here. Y'all. Why, as soon as I said I'm going to put this on my shelf right here, I just remembered that we also butchered rabbits. And they're sitting in this um they're sitting in this cooler right in front of me in my kitchen even though tomorrow is supposed to be the day the official day um that we're supposed to that was super close i'm so sorry tomorrow is supposed to be the official day the day where What am I thinking? Oh, where I'm supposed to take them out of this cooler? I haven't even looked in this cooler. I think I just looked in there. I'm so glad that I just remembered that. I'm gonna have to get my, what's that called? Oh, man, I didn't even think about that. Like that just threw my mind all like that just threw my mind because I'm going to have to get my this thing down here what is it called roaster oven I knew I was missing something I said earlier like I feel like I'm missing something that's what I did when we butchered the two the two rabbits I put them in the roaster oven with water and like onions and stuff and then just let them like fall off of the bone this year so that I, and then I canned a bunch of broth um and we're down to like only five cans of broth left. So I'm going to throw the five rabbits that we butchered into the roaster oven again, make a bunch of broth out of it and pick all the meat off. And my plan was to can the meat. I don't know how that's going to go. I'm hoping that, um, I was either hoping to cut off the meat now and then put it inside of the jars and can it that way or, and then just like, make broth from like the leftover meat and the bones i have to see let me get this dehydrator cleaned up and then we'll get back to that so this is the rabbit that i just pulled out i am going to try decided that i am going to go ahead and try and cut the meat off and then process it like you do chicken in the jars. So I started by taking the meat off of all of the first um, rabbit and then I got too lazy and tired and I felt like I, I didn't feel like doing that because it's already late and I wanted to make dinner. So I went ahead and just put the rest of the rabbit straight inside of this um, what is this called this pot I, don't, I can't think of the name right now and i have it on 150 degrees i'm gonna let it run overnight right now it's about 9 p.m we're having a late dinner obviously um and in the morning i will get all the meat out of it and then can the broth the can that i mean the meat that i did get off the bones i went ahead and uh, raw packed it into um 
jars and I got three jars um, but yeah so that's what we're doing we'll be back tomorrow to finish this process good day you guys so it's actually been a couple days I did get the rabbit meat strained and into jars filled up 12 jars for broth um, we did give when we do this last time and this time we gave our dogs some rabbit meat we gave them some broth uh, and we do feed them broth over their uh, food daily until we um, run out so did get 12 jars of broth um, and yeah I forgot that I was even filming this video that I ended it and um, realized when I went to edit it that I didn't so this is me ending this video and I will see you guys next time